It's really hard, isn't it, to, to, to describe how much one loves an icon like Bob Marley. His African diasporic voice is, is amongst the clearest that, that we have had. I don't know how to describe my love for his music or for his mind. I think when I started thinking about, uh, about writing something about Bob, one immediately thought you have to use his music, you can't just talk about him. But he's a hero, and I wanted to investigate a hero's journey. Yeah, I, I don't think one can tell the life story, or not even the life story, or a little bit of the story of someone as significant as Bob without feeling fear. And what it does is it makes you think, I have to look after the integrity of this man. I have to look after the integrity of, of not just his reputation, but, but, but of his spirit. Um, this isn't sing along a Bob. One has to put him in the context of his time and show what a great man he was for his time and for all time. I am phenomenally excited about coming back to Birmingham actually with One Love and we started um, the tour of Elmina's Kitchen before it came into the West End in Birmingham and the audience, the audience was fantastic, it was diverse and energetic and, I, and so I'm, I'm excited, I'm excited to bring this, this piece to Birmingham. Redemption song but I'm going to conflate that answer and go <laughs> Zimbabwe and, uh, and running away, and I think probably the one that just tips it, maybe, is so much trouble in the world. That was four, but hey.